When I'm recording data on my microcontroller, I'm usually interested in a dynamic system that's changing with time. Now, right now, we can see that the analog voltage is 1.671, or it's changing a little bit. That's not very exciting. But as I move the dial, it will change with time. So if I want to keep track of what's going on, it's important to record how it's changing with time for most of the interesting mechanical systems that we'll deal with that are dynamic systems. So I'll need to have a column with time and another column with whatever the value is that I'm recording. In this case, it's a voltage. So at time zero, I see 2.34. At time one, I see 2.03. At time 2, I see 2.75. Now, if I'm doing this manually, it's going to be tedious and difficult. But if I do it with the microcontroller, I can take this data really quickly. And I might find that at time in seconds, I can measure at time 2 seconds and get that value, at time 2.01 seconds and get 2.76, at 2.02 .02 seconds and get 2.78, and so on down like that. So I'll be able to record a detail, a time versus voltage history, and then later on I can plot that and I can see whatever interesting things are happening with that voltage. Keeping track of this time series data, really important for just about every measurement application. And the easiest way to do that is to make it a list of comma separated values by putting a comma in between the time and the voltage. And then you can import that into a spreadsheet or just about anything.